Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to fuse text and graphics onto complex textures using displacement maps and blend modes. This is an update of tutorials I've done on earlier versions of Photoshop. I provided this terry cloth towel image that you can download. Its link is in my video's description or project files. The first step is to convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Next, we'll create the displacement map which will wrap our text and graphics around the contours and texture of the terry cloth towel. Displacement maps look best when they're slightly blurred. So go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel and click OK or press Enter or Return. If you want to adjust your displacement map's brightness and contrast, it's easier to see as a grayscale image. To do this, click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black White. Click back on the Adjustment Layer icon and this time click Levels. Go to the Input Black slider and drag it to where the histogram starts to rise. Feel free to adjust its midtones and highlights as well. To save your displacement map, shift click the smart object to make all the layers active as well and convert the active layers into one smart object. Open back the list and this time click Duplicate Layer. In Destination, click New and name it. I'll name it Displacement Map. Go to File and Save As. I'll save it to my desktop so I can find it quickly. Save it as a Photoshop PSD file and click Save. If you see this message, just click OK. Open back up the original terry cloth document and open your History panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and History. Find Convert to Smart Object and click it. Doing this reverts your image to the point before you blurred it, made it grayscale, and adjusted its levels. Next, we'll add the text. Open your Horizontal Type tool and pick a font. I'm using Bebas New Regular. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link as well. I'll make its size 170 points, but feel free to choose whatever size you like. I'll make the anti-aliasing sharp and center alignment. The color is irrelevant. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. Let's add a graphic to our image. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Custom Shape tool and pick Pixels. If you're using version CS5 or earlier, the pixel icon is here. Open your Shape thumbnails and click the gear icon to open your list of shape groups. If you want to see all of them at once, Click All. I'll click Symbols since the shape I want is in this group. After you pick your group, you'll see this message. Click OK to replace your current shapes with the new shapes you just picked. I'll click this one and click the gear icon at the top. I'll tick Define Proportions and check From Center. I'll go to the center of my document and drag out the shape. To remove areas of the shape that's hiding your text, open your Rectangular Marquee tool and drag it over one line of your text, making sure it's equidistant from their edges. If you have more than one line of text, 
Click the Add to Selection icon and drag your rectangular marquee tool over the other line of text. Alt click or Option click the Layer Mask icon to make an inverted layer mask of the selection. The black areas of the layer mask hide that corresponding area of the image. Next, we'll convert the combination of our text and graphic into a smart object so we can add filters to it and modify the filters at any time. Shift click your text to make it active as well and convert the two layers into one smart object. Reduce the fill to 0%. This makes our graphic invisible but will retain the full visibility of any filters that we'll be adding to it. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Color Overlay. Pick Linear Burn for its blend mode and click the color box. Pick a color. Muted colors will look better than bright colors over the terry cloth towel. Since I already know the color I want, I already typed it into the hexadecimal field. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Pillow and Boss. The technique is Smooth. And the depth is 1000%. The direction is Up. The size is 10 pixels. And soften it 2 pixels. Check Global Light. The angle is 55 degrees and the altitude is 26 degrees. The highlight mode is Linear Dodge, the color is white, and the opacity is 15%. The shadow mode is Linear Burn, the color is black, and its opacity is also 15%. Then click OK. Go to Filter, Distort and Displace. We'll keep the default scale settings of 10, stretch to fit, and repeat edge pixels. Find and click your displacement map PSD file that you saved earlier and click Open. Immediately, our graphic wrapped itself over the contours of the terry cloth towel. Let's smooth the edges of the graphic on the towel. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Next, I'll show you how to give your graphic a second color. Let's say I want the globe to be another color. With my rectangle tool still active, I'll drag rectangular selections between the globe and the text. I'll click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. To see my globe again, I'll make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. I'll click the copy's layer mask and invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. To change the color of my globe, I'll double click Color Overlay to see it in the Layer Style window. I'll click the color box and pick another color. Since I already know the color I want, I'll type it in and press Enter or Return twice to close both windows. This tutorial was sponsored by Audible. Audible is a company owned by Amazon that offers an unmatched selection of audiobooks that you can buy and listen to on your way to work, at the gym, jogging, or in my case, as I work on my computer creating my tutorials. Audible gives you a free audiobook when you sign up for their free 30-day trial by visiting audible.com forward slash BLTV. Once you're there, you can log on with your existing Amazon account. Once you pick out your free audiobook, just download the free Audible app on your phone, tablet, or desktop, and you can listen to your audiobooks anytime, anywhere. 
I've been listening to Cormac McCarthy's The Road, which was made into a movie a few years ago. I was told by many people how the book is even more powerful than the movie, and they were so right. McCarthy's description of a father and son surviving a post-apocalyptic world is profoundly vivid.